Hey, what's going on? Ryan here, setthefacedraftfun.com, doing a little educational video. Uh, got an athlete that did a uh, bike workout and then uh, started his activity and then for some reason had to stop it really quick. Um, before he could do anything, it got uploaded and it synced with his training peaks. And then he went and did the real workout and then, um, you know, it came across as his own type of workout. So you see here on this Tuesday when I'm highlighting, he... Uh, I had a prescribed workout of an hour and 10 minutes and it came across 23 seconds in 4.07 miles. So he wants his actual bike workout to be in the real workout. So uh, I'm going to do a quick little video to show you how to do it and help the athlete do it. Um, so if you have the premium account on Training Peaks, you have the opportunity to go in there. I can do it as a coach, um, but as you're, if you're also on a premium account uh, paying for yourself, you can go in there and do this as well. So it's pretty straightforward, but I just want to make a video because um, a lot of people run into this problem. So you got your activity, files. Um, so you can upload a file or you can see the file that's associated with, from your Garmin that came across. So if you've got Garmin synced with Training Peaks, it automatically comes in. You delete it, download it, you can do whatever you want. So I want to keep this planned activity. So I'm going to delete this file. Um, so then you'll see it takes it back down to zero. So it's like you didn't even do it. So then take this file and I'm going to download the file. Save it to my computer. So it's saved in my downloaded sections. Then delete this because if it didn't have a, a, a planned workout to attach to, it just brings it across as an activity. So you delete it. So as you notice on that Tuesday, now he's got a run and a bike, and a bike with no activity. Hit upload, browse for files. Browse the file you just downloaded. And notice, save and close, so there he is. So planned 100 and, or one hour and 10 minutes. He rode for one hour and 10 minutes and four seconds. And there you go. Um, he's got all the information, all the data in there, and it shows everything on his ride. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, summarize, you got an act, a planned activity. Uh, for some reason, say you had a misfire or maybe you did like a little something or other and it synced the wrong file to that workout. So you go in there into the activity of the planned activity, delete the file associated with it that you don't want, save that and it shows up as blank. Then you come back in and um, for the activity that synced that didn't have a planned activity, download the file. Because if you download it before deleting it, then you're going to have to go back and get that file from Garmin and bring it back in. That's kind of a pain. So go to that file that was uh, downloaded that was not associated with a plan workout. Download the file to your computer. Delete that activity and then go back to the planned activity and hit. There's going to be an upload section. So um, if you look, uh, let me show you an example of a plan workout. Um, this upload file, um, if the day has passed, will be here and available that you can upload that file. So we upload it, save it, and there you go. Uh, it's as simple as that, but it, it does cause a problem. You know, sometimes, like I said, if you're going to misfire uh, the wrong file uh, attached to the plan workout, you know, maybe you didn't do it in the right order and you had multiple workouts from there or something weird happened. Um, just opportunity. And if you, you know, you know, <laughs> And it's an example for this athlete, you know, he's done a few extra little things um, here and there. So maybe uh, you did a workout on a Wednesday and it was planned for a Thursday. You can drag that plan workout to Thursday and then switch the files if you want to. Um, but it's in the event you have a plan workout and the file didn't uh, sync with the right workout. So hopefully this helps you out. If it, uh, you got any other questions, you tried to do it and didn't work, put them in the comments. I'll try to help you out on troubleshooting on that one. Um, give it a subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll make more videos uh, to help you get through your training and uh, training peaks if you have any questions and other uh, platforms that you use. So keep your questions coming, and good luck in the training out there.